Am I the a-hole for imposing my culture, even though I thought I was just being nice? Even though I, 23F, am American, my parents are immigrants, and as a result, I have a different cultural upbringing than most. One thing that was ingrained in me from an early age was to always, always bring a small gift when visiting anyone's home. It doesn't matter if it's family, friends, or that one person you kind of know but don't particularly like, bringing something is a must. My BF, 28 Mem, and I have been dating for nearly four years now, and since we both work remotely, he suggested we make dinner with his parents a weekly event since we haven't been able to see each other much for obvious reasons. I love his parents, so naturally, I agreed. Every week, I made sure to bring something small to express my gratitude for them cooking for us, always using my own money, a small bottle of wine, their favorite dessert, some flowers, etc., and they always thanked me for it. This has been going on for a few months, and I absolutely didn't notice anything unusual until yesterday when my BF and I were getting ready to head over. I'd gotten a cute vase of daffodils, since luckily I'd found some in bloom, and my BF's mom really loves them, but my BF's suddenly got really mad and asked why I kept bringing stuff over every week like his parents were a charity case. Honestly, I got super confused and asked him what the problem was and that I've always done this with everyone, including his friends, since we met. That it was a cultural thing, but then he got even madder and told me to stop imposing my culture on everyone, and it's weird since I'm white. At that point, I didn't feel like going anywhere with him and just gave him the flowers and went for a walk while he drove over to dinner by himself. After he came home, he still had the flowers, which he gave to me and apologized, stating that his parents were extremely annoyed with me continually bringing things over as if they couldn't manage on their own. Later, I received a message from his dad asking me not to come over for dinner anymore. Now, my boyfriend is giving me the cold shoulder unless I provide a massive apology to his parents, but I genuinely don't feel that I'm in the wrong for trying to be kind to them. Am I the a-hole? Update. First of all, I just want to thank everyone for the overwhelming support and replies on my initial post. I'm looking forward to visiting everyone's houses for dinner, and I'll make sure to bring all the items you mentioned you liked. Many flower enthusiasts out there, I'm now apparently also the DIL to many hopeful parents who replied, and I hope I can live up to their expectations. After my last update, I told my boyfriend I was fed up with him avoiding the issue with his parents, and I was going to visit their house whether he liked it or not. At this point, he seemed to realize that whatever he was doing had backfired, so he sat down, visibly frustrated, and told me he'd explain. I sat down, and he revealed that he'd done something on a whim. He had texted me from his dad's phone and then blocked the number, but he begged me to listen. He said he just needed to get his parents off his back for a while and didn't want me to leave. Apparently, his parents had begun suggesting marriage since my boyfriend and I had talked about it frequently. I fully expected to marry him, as I mentioned in another comment, and was honestly anticipating a proposal in late spring, as that's when we met. Four years of dating didn't bother me, but I was getting excited to settle down. However, my boyfriend seemingly realized that he absolutely didn't want to commit to anything and wanted to experiment and have fun since I wasn't being fun anymore. Honestly, that just made me cry since we were each other's first for everything and usually very good at communicating our needs. His grand idea was to get him angry at me so I would plead for forgiveness, and then he'd only accept an open relationship as a solution. Absolutely brilliant plan, I know. He concocted the story about his parents getting mad, but didn't expect me to cancel dinner completely, and it's like hitting a jackpot, his words, not mine. He went over for dinner, hid the flowers, and claimed we'd had a huge fight, but he was going to fix it, and that I needed space. After he confessed all this, he said he was very sorry, but really didn't want to miss out on new experiences while he was still young, and asked if I would consider an open relationship, but pretend ours was strange with his parents so they wouldn't get suspicious and I laughed. I laughed his ass right out the door and told him absolutely not and to leave me alone while I packed because I wanted to have some new experiences too. He never stopped begging me to stay but I left to stay at a friend's. After calming down for a few days I cemented the breakup and finally actually went over to his parents' house. My ex-BF's dad never even noticed the phone missing but still apologized and his mom was a mess. I do and still love them and will have dinner there without him as often as I can. I won't lie that I'm sad about four years down the drain, but that's life. And if that was my ex's best possible plan, then I dodged the bullet by a mile.